Hello y'all, this is Steve O. Sims here, going to do a quick video on how do you download CoursePlay because I've gotten a lot of questions on it. First you want to go to the GitHub site provided in the description below. Now the CoursePlay is still beta, so this you have to go to the GitHub site as of right now. Hopefully this will load. Alright, so this is a GitHub site. So here it is same uh, link that I give you in my video descriptions so if you can find them go there you want to clone or download right here so clone download the zip now the zip is loaded we go to downloads so now we will extract all so I have Windows 10 you're wondering so open up this file now you need to select all files now we need to send them to a compressed folder now you can name these whatever you want you cannot have spaces in farming similar 19 so make sure whatever you name them does not have space and I always name it the same, so every time I re-download it, it deletes the old file and loads the new. So we'll cut that out. Now we'll find our Farming Simulator Mod Hub, and now you save it. So we have just updated, or you could load your course play there. Now we will go into Farming Simulator. Okay, now we're in the game. So disregard this one. This is an older version, but so you find Course Play 6 and we are now on the beta version 6.01.00213. 213 is important part that shows which version. So I recommend you constantly update course play because they constantly fixing the annoyances or updating the whole program so course play has changed a lot since it's originally come out so make sure that's clicked push start okay now that we're in the game we'll get in our John Deere tractor so pull up course play all you have to do is right click the mouse uh, you can change this to so we'll go over the major differences really quick. So if you go over here, so this is where you generate your field generations now, right here. Now do other how to's once course play gets further and further into adult development. This is just the beta version. So they've been changing this constantly, but this is just to help you find a course. So this is your field work course. This right here is your sprayer slash planter course. Uh, this right here is if you wanted to unload, let's say, grain from your bin to a cell point, you would use this course. This is to help unload the cow bite. This is not a grain cart uh, item here. So this would just be to unload from a semi truck or a tractor trailer not with an auger on it. So this would be directly to your bin site. This would be uh, overload slash grain cart, whatever you want to call it, uh, generation. This yet has been uh, made for 19, unfortunately. We're really looking forward to them designing that. Or this is combine mode, so if you get in combine, you can use that. This is also this would be, I believe, slurry slash, but you could still use slurry if you see my upcoming video with, you, all you have to do is, so if I wanted a slurry course, your slurry load course like this one, you would load your original slurry. So I would spread, put this one as primary and this one is secondary. A lot of people do this wrong. I've watched a lot of people and they think they could just do both primaries. 
no, you have to use this as the primary because that's where course play will derp up. This would be the secondary. So if course play says, finds out it needs to reload slurry, it needs to go to this. If you do both of these primaries, course play has a hard time determining where to go and you constantly find course play wandering your field or not going to the last stop point. So if you do that, that's helpful advice there. Uh, another update from 17. Find a semi truck here quick. So if I wanted to unload course, they have changed this. So it used to be right here. This would be uh, if I wanted to unload canola or wheat. Now it's right here. So I could pick all the unloads. That's a recent update that so you guys help you in your course play courses you start. So if you'd like to see more of these, let me know in the comments or like the chat like the video. I would like to do more how to's. Just I need to know what you guys would like to see. Uh, very in depth or just slightly in depth uh, video. Just let me know and I will be glad to help you out. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you later.